Hello. I would like to show you how to enter a small program using the PDP 10 switches. Uh, we'll do something very simple, just a small counter displayed on the memory indicators. So first of all, let's make the program on ITS. I'm going to start the Emacs editor. We'll have a Go label where the program starts. So first of all, let's make a counter that's uh, starting at zero. We'll use A as a name for the accumulator. Then we'll put this in the light. The data is uh, an I.O. instruction and PI is the interrupt device, but it can also be used like this to display something on the memory indicators. Next, we will increment the counter by one and make a loop. Now, this is a perfectly fine small program to enter, but I would like to make a few changes to make it even simpler. First of all, we don't really need to clear the counter because we can do that from the switches if you want to. And second, we can merge these two instructions into one because there is a add one and jump always instruction. So now we just have these two instructions. That's very simple to enter. I'm saving this file and assembling it with Midas. We will uh, check the contents. I'm making a job called hello and loading the binary in there. So the go label, uh, if you don't specify anything else, it's at 100. There's our data instruction and in octal it's this. And next is the AOJA instruction and it looks like this. So this is what we want to enter on the switches. So let's move over to the Pied P10. Here we have the machine in a stop state. Just some random lights on. So what we're going to do first is to enter the start address. It's 100 and then the data to be put there. And if you recall, that's 7005, 4 and 1. So we press deposit this, and we can see in the memory indicators that we have the right data. So the other instruction is Let's just clear everything. It's three, four, four, oh, four, and 100. And this time we'll de push deposit next. So we can see the memory address is now 101, which is the next location. So better check this. We are still at address 100 and we'll examine this. So we'll check, we have 
five, four, and one. That's right. And the next location, that's three, four, four, oh, four, and 100. So that looks right. We can start by pushing similar instruction to check that our program seems to work by single stepping. So with 100 in the error switches, we'll push start. So there we have the first instruction. And then we can push with a single instruction still down. We can push continue. And we're stepping like this. As we can see, the counter here starts as some random value. So let's clear that out. It's location one. And we have zero on the data switches. So let's just push uh, deposit this. So now it's cleared. So we can continue stepping. And we see the counter being counted up from zero this time. Now we can push repeat and hold down continue to execute slowly. And we can release the single instruction switch and continue at full speed. This runs much slower. These lights are just blinking randomly and we can see something counting up here. And if you like, we can stop and continue. Stop, continue. Or we can stop, uh, clear the counter, and start from the beginning at one at this 100. So start. Yep, that's it. Have fun.